Now I'm going to show you cutting out the, the half lap joint. This is what your piece of wood will look similar to when it's completed. This is your bit of wood how it should look if it's marked out properly. We need a tenon saw, a chisel and a tri-square for this process. So to start with we'll use the, the chisel and the tri-square. So once again working from the, the face edge we're going to mark a line mark around our marked out line. So try square stock up against the face side. Now we need to hold the chisel. We're going to use it like a knife. Keep your fingers away from the cutting edge. Don't have it in front of the cutting edge. Hold it in like manner. Have the flat of the chisel up against the edge of the try square So we line the, the blade of the try square up with our on the inside on the waist side of our line. Now we put the point of the chisel in, use it like a knife, drag it up against the edge of the tri-square. You may need to do it several times until we get a, a little cut in our wood. We use a bench hook, place your timber hard up against the bench hook, keep your hands once again behind the cutting edge of the chisel and we're just going to par that little bit out. So this will give us a, a good guide for starting to cut with the, the tenon saw. It will also give us a nice crisp sharp edge. Okay. Now we use the bench hook. Hold the tenon saw with a pistol grip, finger out, that stops it wobbling around so much. Push the wood into the bench hook and start by drawing the saw back and we cut down to our mark lines. Just keep looking on both sides. Don't forget to have a good stance when you're when you're cutting. So I'm down to the line both sides. Now we just place our piece of wood into the vise. Put it in at an angle so we can start cutting from the corner. Once again, get a good stance pistol grip, cutting on the waist side of the line, draw the saw back to get it started, keep an eye on your marks, Continue down until you get to your mark. Spin it around and cut from the other side. Cut down to your line on that side, stand it up straight. So it's not perfect, we can still see the line. So we'll par that out with the chisel. Use the bench hook again. 
keep your hands behind the cutting edge. Keep taking little bits out at a time, be patient until you get it to the desired finish that you want. <laughs> 